and the speaker has acknowledged receipt of a letter from the governing NPP asking him, Professor Aaron Michael Kwe, to declare the former seat in the Ashanti region vacant. MP for the area, Andrea Mankwa Esiama, who is in parliament on the ticket of the NPP, filed his nominations to contest this year's election as an independent candidate. Now, the General Secretary of the party, John Buedu, has said that the MP ceases to be a member of the party. Listen. Uh, we've not yet received a response from, from the speaker. Uh, what about your member uh, who is in parliament as your me member of parliament? Uh, we've not heard from him. Initially, this uh, move was initiated by the regional party in Ashanti region. Uh, it was, his attention was drawn to Article 3.9 of our constitution. That says that a member of the party who stands as an independent candidate against the officially elected member of the party or who joins or declares his or her support for another political party or for an independent candidate when the party has sponsored a candidate in a general or by election automatically forfeit his or her membership of the party. And his attention was drawn to uh, this, this uh, 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 part of our constitution. He was invited severally to, to explain to us and, and also draw his attention to uh, the fact that if he decides to file against the official candidate of the party, he automatically forfeit his, his membership. So we are only only drawing the attention and notifying the general public that uh, all those who will also follow suit forfeit uh, their membership automatically. I think that it is also clear that uh, I think uh, within 60 days to election, it will be difficult to, if a member resigns or dies or uh, vacate his position as, as in this case. Uh, to have a by-election. So that, that is clear. The only thing I want to uh, send across is that you join a party based on your understanding and your agreement of what the constitution of the party is. So you don't, you don't renege on that and decide to do things on your own. You also have uh, the national constitution. That also is clear that uh, if you are elected to represent a party, in parliament, you have no right to either decide to be an independent candidate or join any other party or even cross carpet. And this is clear. We've had several examples of it happening in our fourth Republican uh, constitution and dispensation. I think that we just want to send a clear signal to all that uh, the party is not going to countenance a situation where members of our party decide to go independent with the thinking that if they win, they will join the party in parliament. So that's John Boydou there for the NPP. So what does this mean for the uh, MP with just over a month to the general elections? Joseph is still with me. Hi, Joseph. Do we know yes, if the here. speaker has taken a decision as yet? Um, I've been checking and as to um, whether this is actually a document that the House actually has in its possession, it's something that I've not been able to confirm. Um, I've, 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 I've been speaking to the minority, the Harina Jisu, who explains that it's still something that at the leadership level is being discussed as to what to do with the Formula MP. But he specifically made the point when I asked him about whether he'd seen a copy of the letter himself, and he says he hasn't seen a copy of the letter himself. Those on the majority side are very much tightly on what the way forward will be. Um, but the constitution makes the point that once you decide to leave the party on which ticket you came to power, then your seat has to be declared vacant. But it doesn't happen automatically. One of two things would have to happen. Either the speaker himself would have to probably, once he gets hold of that particular letter from the MPP, read that letter on the floor, and then based on that, then MPs would deliberate on the issue and then the House will go ahead and declare the seat they can after that deliberation. Or um, it could be that MPs, particularly on the majority side, or an MP could raise it on the floor of the House and then the House will discuss it for the necessary approval to be given for the declaration to be done officially in the House before a conclusion can be drawn that the MP has, back, you know, the seat has been declared vacant. But for now, what is clear is that he remains 
an NPA until those processes are triggered. The NPP, as John Buedu indicated, uh, have actually written to the House. Um, those that have asked around, including the minority leader, Haina who make the point that they haven't seen a copy of that letter. But then it's something that at the leadership level is still under discussion um, in conjunction with the legal advisors of Parliament. Looks like a pretty dicey situation there. But Joseph, uh, 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 did you spot the Member of Parliament in the House today? It's actually been a while. It's actually been a while since um, the Honourable MP for Fomina, I, I spotted him um, in the House. I, I, I didn't see him around today. How are his colleagues re reacting to this particular development? And so those on the majority side uh, make the point that the rules should be applied. They ought to be applied. They think loyalty to a party should actually mean something and that uh, they are, to, to a certain extent, not exactly happy that um, he did not even contest the NPP primary because he had concerns having to do with the album and then decides that he would go independent. They think that uh, that is not very much good for or party unity and then they make the point that even his absence wouldn't very much be felt because they have a very huge majority right here in parliament um the minority side uh, the minority the hand i do so has been asking a lot of questions legally as to whether the seat can actually be declared vacant because they make the point that um the constitution refers to someone who decides to leave the party that brought him to power you know and says it's under that circumstance that the seat can be declared vacant but the minority leader goes on to ask, when you come to the Formina case in particular, the gentleman was sacked from the party. He didn't decide to leave on his own. And so there are legal questions that has to be, you know, that have to be dealt with before then any such decision is taken. But then um, we're waiting to see. Um, it, 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 a lot of it is still at the discretion of the speaker. If the speaker mm. decides not to raise this issue on the floor over the next four weeks or so that the house is sitting then you know, nothing happens and the seat doesn't get declared vacant so it, it boils down to the amount of pressure that the npp as a party would want to mount on the speaker to raise mm. the issue on the floor for a conversation you know as to whether eventually the declaration of a vacancy would happen otherwise or the speaker could just decide that or the majority the majority could just decide that everyone should probably close their mind to this for the next one week or so so that then it hasn't probably become an issue. But as I said, it, it goes back to how much pressure the young people put on the speaker in the majority to actually formalize the processes to get him to declare this particular seat vacant. Let's see how that goes. But we're still in Parliament. Actually, a lot happening there. Now, the speaker has also confirmed that uh, there will be no by-election in Infantiman despite the death of the MP, Akko Hayford. The MPP has announced that the wife of the deceased will take over as candidate for the party. Listen to John Boydo, who is the General Secretary for the NPP. The whole constituency leadership and party, uh, the regional setup and the national setup, deem it fit that his wife uh, is the backbone of, of, of the husband. Uh, she knows the constituency very well. And considering the last support that the husband has and the kind of difficulties that the constituency is going through, a lot more of the constituents think that we should let the wife continue. Well, was this done by acclamation? Was there a formal process, you know, again, going back to the party's constitution? There was a massive consensus at the constituency. There was no dissent at all. Massive consensus at the constituency level, at the regional level, and at the national level. And uh, we've had that discussion. We will formally announce it. Uh, we know that she was also a police officer. Uh, has she resigned her po po position? Quickly, she, she, she's done so. She's done so. So, Joseph, what is the what, what are uh, parliamentarians saying about this as well? So, so this came up on the floor of parliament, and uh, what you say is a very interesting circumstance because on the floor. Some MPs were drawing attention to what they say is uh, misreporting within the media space that um, the, uh, the, the wife is replacing a Hayford as MP. I, I'm, I'm not too sure where the MPs uh, got that information from that some media houses are reporting that the wife of Echo Hayford is replacing him in parliament. 
but then um, they, they made that point on the floor and then went on to address the issue, uh, including the minority leader, the first deputy speaker, Jose Usu, and the speaker, Professor Michael Kwe himself. And they went on to quote various portions of the constitution. That makes the point that when a seat in parliament becomes vacant three months to the next election, then a by-election will not be held, but everyone will hold on until the next election is held. So that's the principle that uh, the speaker has been confirming will apply and that over the next uh, uh, 50 days or so, uh, the Club of Fantasman wouldn't have a representation here in Parliament until the next election. And just to point out, so it's the same principle that will apply even in Formina if the Speaker goes ahead to declare that particular seat vacant. There will not be a by-election, and everyone would have to wait for the next election for a decision to be taken, as far as who represents the people of Formina. And in this case, who represents the people of uh, 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 um, infant demand uh, mm. is contained. Joseph, thank you very much for that update there. We'll leave you to catch your breath on that. Uh, Joseph Opoku Gako is my colleague who is a parliamentary affairs correspondent.